Nobody wanted Trev as a yearling, and she was led out of the ring unsold at 22,000 euros, less than you pay for a decent second-hand Mondeo. Yet today, nearly £6 million worth of prize money later, Trev, already a member of the magnificent seven who have won the arc twice, returns to her happy hunting ground in the Bois de Boulogne with sporting immortality in her grasp. A third triumph would raise her onto a pedestal upon which no other horse has earned the right to stand. Victory for Trev would transform Longchamp from refined to raucously happy. This is the last arc before the race course is redeveloped and a third win for this filly of a lifetime would save the demolition men a lot of bother as the roofs of the stands would exultantly be raised and come to rest in the Place de la Concorde or perhaps be found queuing for the Louvre. And the cheers and tears and the I was theirs will not only be for the filly but also very much for the captivating bundle of charm that is her trainer Cricket head. Winning arcs lies deep in the head genes. It was Cricket's nonagenarian dad, the remarkable Alec, who followed in his arc winning father's footprints and tightened the family stranglehold on the race with four victories between 1952 and 81. Alec is a legend of both the breeding and training ranks. A benevolent paterfamilias. He bought the family stud in Normandy, Ara du in 1958. Birthplace of superstars, but none greater than Trev. And what Alec does not know about nurturing thoroughbred stock could be written on your average betting slip. Trev's first start in 2013 was simply astonishing. And she's kicked away and racing with a live. Trev is tremendous, unbeaten and unchallenged in the arc. As Thierry Jarnet said afterwards, there came a stage when he could no longer hold on to her and a legend was unleashed as Trev bolted up by five lengths. Yet 12 months on, she returned under a mass of clouds. She'd been beaten on her return in April and put up a dismal performance at Royal Ascot when she looked a shadow of herself. And a fourth group one for the Fugue. Trev never really landed a blow. Cricket, as wise as she's kind, took her home and set about solving the puzzle of Trev's fall from grace. A foot problem and a tricky back condition were diagnosed. She left Trev alone, and it wasn't until August the 1st that she was put back into training again. She returned for the Verme in September, and though she was given a gentle time of it by her old ally, Jeanne, she was attained fourth. The dazzle seemed to have faded away. Few believed that the fire could be rekindled, and on Arc Day, she was sent off at 11 to one. Not unconsidered, but in betting terms, disregarded. Oh, we of little faith. Oh, she's quickened up brilliantly again. Trev leads again at Longchamp. As they race up towards the line, a remarkable win. Two arcs for Trev. Trev has won it again. Now this utterly exceptional filly, so patiently fettled by the hands of a gentle genius, is poised for her assault on the peak unclimbed. 